Uh, I'm here on the instance settings where we've added Apple or sign in with Apple. Um, where I'm able to provide client ID. You also will need a team ID and a key ID. You get that from Apple itself with a corresponding private key where you can create one and download and need to upload it uh, here. Um, I've already done so for testing purposes and will now demonstrate quickly check that I got rid of my test user. Yes. And I will demonstrate that one in Safari, just to take full benefit of the integration of macOS. Let's do a sign in again. Yeah, not on that. Okay. Um, I now have here the sign in with Apple button. And as soon as I click on that, Apple should prompt me directly on screen without, obviously that's only working for Safari or Mac, um, but I can directly edit here the information or even hide my email address. I won't do so now and just touch I'll print the touch ID and I'm directly logged in or my user is now directly created with Apple as IDP. And obviously if I log out again, and it's just re-sign in, it's gonna do the, the same prompt. I don't need to, um, authenticate using username password on Apple and I'm signed in. If I would do the same on, on another browser, um, Chrome for example, I would manually need to manually log in just for demonstration purpose. I can show that too. Mm, let's use Apple. I'm now visibly, visibly redirected to Apple where I need to log in. I could do so with, let's just use password for the moment. Trust, yes. And I'm signed in as well.